Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're talking about using similar figures to find your volume. So in a previous lesson, we talked about finding the perimeter or sides find using to figure out your scale factor using those. Uh, and then once you have your scale factor, you can figure out the ratio of the areas based on your scale factor. So now we're gonna do the ratio of the volume. So first let's look at these two. I have two cubes here. This one is a one by one by one. This is a three by three by three. And I wanna find the volume of those. Um, first, let's do this. We know that the ratio of the sides, ratio of sides, aka our scale factor, is one to three. One to three. Now, the volume of this, remember to find the volume of a rectangular prism or a spe uh, sphere, a uh, cube is multiply length times height times width. So if I do that, I end up with a volume of one yard cube. So one cubic yard. Now over here, if I do that, I end up with 27 yards cubed because three times three is nine times three is 27. So the ratio of the of area of sorry not area of volume is going to be uh 1 to 27. now the other thing we can talk about is the ratio of the area let's just do the front front face of this right so on this one it's a three by three but that one over this one over here it's just a one so the ratio of the area is one two and then the area of this guy is nine the area of this thing is one so one to nine so we have one to three one to nine one to 27. here's the deal and here's probably what you'll want to write down with your notes is sides are just a to b whatever those sides are the area is whatever the a squared is and b squared your scale factor essentially your volume this time is a cubed b cubed because if you see that we took our scale factor one to three and we cubed both the top and the bottom we got one to 27. so you'll want to write these guys down as your notes that way you have that and then let's practice this all right so let's take a look at this guy right here this one yes I think this will be the best one. Okay, so we have a surface area of 288 and a surface area of 392. I want you to find the ratio of the volumes here. So the, the first thing we have to do is find our scale factor. So given this, we have our, we have, we're gonna call this guy A and this one B. So from A to B, we're gonna say 288 divided by 392. Now, if I, uh, cut those guys in half, I end up with 392. So we get 144 and 196. Straight away, I already know that these are perfect squares here, but I think they can be reduced again because they both end in an even number. So let's reduce them as far as we possibly can. Uh, so if we cut these in half, we end up with uh, 72, wait, 140. 72, yes, I don't know why that I paused on that. And then uh, 98 was the other one. So 72 to 98, uh, let me just double check. Yeah, okay, now uh, we can cut those in half again. So if we do that, we end up with 36 over 49. And there we know those are perfect squares. That is six squared over seven squared. So this means my scale factor is six to seven, six to seven. So what does that mean about the volume? Well, then my volume is going to be six over seven, six cubed to seven cubed. So six cubed gives me 216. And then we have seven cubed gives me 343. So this would be the ratio for my volumes, okay? So we found the scale factor, we found the ratio for the volumes. Let's try that now with the volume. Well, let's do one more of those, so you see. Uh, let's do 576 or 567 over 28. So this is A, this is B. 
right? So A to B, we get 567 over 28, and they're both kilometers, uh, kilometer squared, kilometer squared. That's important because if they were different uh, units, you would want to switch those to make sure that they were the same units. Okay, so if we do, uh, if we add all these together, so eight, nine, 10, no, that won't be. So let me think about this. If we pause for a second. Okay, I did think about this one because I'm like, they're not both even, but if you divide the top and bottom by seven, uh, I did. I just didn't know my 567 divided by seven. So we get 81 and divide the bottom by seven, we get four. And if we do that, we know we get nine squared and two squared. So our scale factor is nine to two, nine to two. So now that we know that, we can figure out our volume ratio is gonna be nine to two. And we cube it and cube it, we end up with nine cubed gives me 729 and two cubed gives me eight. So the ratio for volume would look like this. So let's actually use some volumes to see if we can figure this out. So for example, if I have, all right, so I have a, let's start with these ones. I have this, uh, these two pyramids here. I have one that is nine centimeters cubed and this is 243 centimeters cubed. So this is figure A and this is figure B. So with this information, we can say, okay, A to B is nine over 243. So seven, eight, nine. So if I add up uh, three plus four plus two, I get nine and nine goes into nine. So I can divide both the top and bottom by nine. So that makes it nice and easy. So we get one over and then 243 divided by nine is 27, 27. So this is where it's good to know your perfect cubes because I now know that this is one cubed over three cubed, which means my scale factor is one to three, one to three. So what would that be for areas? The ratio of my areas, areas would be, so my, the ratio of my volumes is one to 27, but the ratio of my areas would be one squared over three squared, so we're gonna get one to nine, just like that. Okay, so let me pause this. Okay, so given this information, let's talk about finding the actual uh, volume. So we have two solids here, one and two, and the surface area is 1620 to 2000. So 1620 to 2000, and the units are the same, kilometers, kilometers. And lob off those zeros, and then if I have, so what is that, 81, over 100. Okay, so that, again, I know those are perfect squares and I'm talking about area, surface area. So this is nine squared over 10 squared. So that means my scale factor is nine to 10. So my scale factor is nine to 10. Now what it's asking us to do is find the volume. So we're gonna say, okay, well, to find the volume, we've got to do nine cubed over 10 cubed. And if we do nine cubed gives us 729 over 1000, uh, 1000, there we go. So this is the ratio of volumes, ratio of volume, okay, is this guy right in here. So the volume of my first one is 5,103, and that's the nine, right? Because I went uh, I went one to two, one to two. You gotta keep it in order is what I'm getting at. So five, one, zero, three. Now the volume of the second one is what I don't know, so now we can cross multiply. Seven, two, nine, X equals five, one, zero, three with one, two, three zeros. Divide by 729, divide by 729. All right, and if we do that, we get five, one, zero, three, there we go. We get 7,000 X equals 7,000. And we're talking about kilometers. We're talking volume. So kilometers cubed, kilometers cubed. All right, so let's try that again. If we have a, let's try one that's not as large of a number. Uh, so actually, let's look at this one. We have 325 and 208. All right, so solid number. I'm gonna call this A and this B. I think that's a little easier. A and B. We have 325 and 208. Okay, so if I look at this guy, let's see if we can reduce this at all. Um, 
Uh, let's see. Let me pause. Okay, man, this was a tricky one. I can't believe I chose this. I'm sitting here thinking two, three, five, seven. No, none of those. 13. All right. So when in doubt, just start dividing by, I broke this number down. And so I was like, okay, divide by five. And then I got a 65 and then I'm like, oh, 13 goes into 65. So, okay. So if we do this, we get, um, on the bottom, we get 16 and then 325 divided by 13. Yeah. So the 65 I got was right there. So this is 25. The other key is if you have something that can be quarters, look to see divide by 25 because we know 25 is a perfect square. So that was the other thing is like, okay, 325 divided by 25 is 13. So uh, five squared and four squared. So my scale factor factor is five to four. Now with that said, we're going to go ahead and do our volumes. So this is the ratio for the areas is this thing right here, 25 to 16. So for volume, we're going to do five to four and we're going to cube it. So we've got five cubed, which is 125 and then four cubed, which is 64. Just like that. Okay. So the ratio of our volumes is this. Now I'm going to use that ratio to solve for this. Volume one is 1875 and volume two, I don't know. So 1875 and this guy, I don't know. So I can get rid of this now that I have that out of the way. So. Uh, we have 125 X equals 1875 times 64. We get 120,000, just like that. Divided by 125, I get, so divide both sides by 125 and I get X equals 960. Uh, and we're talking feet cubed because again, we're trying to find the volume here on this guy. So hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. If you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.